Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome to West Virginia in Spin Tires Mud Runner. Now this is a brand new map that I am very excited to check out and see. And by the way, I'm sure you guys can already tell that my game looks very different. Um, it looks a lot brighter, the sky is blue, and that is because I've actually installed a sky mod and basically the gist of this mod is basically okay so if you go on the steam workshop page for this map you'll see that the creator of the map has linked it in the comments however i am not going to link it in the video description primarily because of the fact that honestly if okay if you go and download th that like if you go and download this sky mod without knowing what you're doing you could probably end up with, like, something... You could probably, honestly, end up with something sketchy on your computer. So, uh, yeah. If you if you want to see if you can find it, go to the comment section of this map's page on Steam. Um, but I am not responsible if anything ends up on your computer. Because it, it's like... Like, even the link itself to get it looks sketchy. So, anyways... Moving on from that, this map, it, this map with this mod is absolutely beautiful, and I know I'm in, so I'm in Banks's F-350, and to be honest, I don't think this thing's gonna get very far. Um, this is not a vehicle for this map, and I'll show you exactly what I mean, because right from the get-go, oh, let me open the map page itself, because there's, like, no marked trails. There's none. There's zero marked trails. And what that tells me right off the bat is not only that we're going to be dealing with a lot of, like, uneven terrain, it also tells me that we're going to be dealing with a lot of basically, basically, like, you know, uh, trail blazing. Not necessarily trail riding, but finding your own trails and finding your own path. Oh my god. Holy crap. Okay, um, we might want to just... Recover that truck and call it a day on that one. I'm gonna go with Spud CJ Buggy Because this thing is gonna at least be a little bit more capable than uh, than that F-350 when it comes to this kind of terrain So let me go to the F-350 by the way and shut it off because to be honest like all I could hear Like all you can hear when that thing is running is that itself so I don't know why it, the sound of that truck just carries so far, but it does for whatever reason. This map definitely doesn't hold back. It doesn't pull any punches. Like, straight from the get-go, you're thrown into some gnarly trails. You've got, you know, massive, massive steep hill climbs, you know, steep rocks, slick rocks, and just a whole host of obstacles that honestly most vehicles wouldn't even be able to make it up the first part of this map i mean it is literally it is that intense it's genuinely that intense now ooh, that's bad i only like when i tested this map out to make sure it would work i only got right to about here before i was like okay this map works just fine but that's the first time i've actually climbed that without a winch so i'm pretty proud of that Oh, that's sketchy. Oh, God. Can you back up, please? Maybe? Find some grip. It's literally like it's so hard for this thing to find grip here for some reason. It's ridiculously difficult. And I'm not sure why it's so difficult for it to find grip. I mean, like, when it plunges into this mud, it almost just grinds to a halt. It genuinely does. I mean, like, the mud itself is so deep that you have to winch. At least in this thing, you have to winch. It's like, oh, God. It's like there's something down there that's pulling the front wheels down. And I don't know what it is. I just know that there's something down there. And, like, you can't see it because it's in the water, but... It's ridiculous. Like, you have to stay so on top of your game on this map. And by the way, I do have to say, with this Sky mod, you definitely get to see more detail on the vehicles. I, I really, really, really dig that. I mean, there's some vehicles where it makes some textures show up a little bit too blue. Um, you guys could probably see that on this particular Jeep. But like, okay, I don't know what happened there. It literally sucked the front axle down into the mud. I don't know if it was lit Whoa, like that. I don't know if it was just a drop-off or if it literally... Like, if there's literally something down there in the water that's pulling the front wheels down. We good to go? 
Yes, maybe? Okay. So we're gonna use that as a basically a, a way to safety tether the Jeep. And then... God, these trails are tight and they do not let up. They never do. Oh, easy. 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 Oh, jeez. Man, sometimes low three is even, like, too fast for this stuff. I mean, it's so, like, it's literally, you have to go slow. It forces you to go slow. There's no Tomcat gear uh, on this map. You can't use Tomcat gear here. I mean, you could. You'd just, you'd just wind up, you know, <laughs> wind up either very stuck or very upside down or very either in inside of a tree or on top of a tree. One of the two, or one of the four I just described, but, oh god. You definitely really get to watch the suspension working, though. And I love the fact that you could see, you could finally see more of the vehicle in, in, like, in proper detail. Like, before, like, with the standard sky and, like, the standard weather, it's so gloomy and gray and foggy that all you really get to see, it's like, you get to see the vehicles, but you have to, like, look at them through this lens of, like gloomy fog and it's it's never like it's never the prettiest way to play the game this like the game when the, when you brighten it up a bit it looks really good and i so far don't see any drawbacks to it other than you know some parts of the vehicle being extra blue when they're wet like that's the only drawback i've seen so far and honestly that's not even really a drawback i, I mean it's a little bit of a texture glitch in my opinion but it's nothing that couldn't be fixed going forward I just don't understand why they don't give you, a, like, an option to play the game like this. Like, they, I'm sure they easily could. And I think it would be, I mean, I think it would be something that the community would love. I know I would love it. Like, if this was a factory, like, if you could go, factory thing, like, you could go into the options and say, do I want to play on a clear day? Do I want to play on a, uh, on a foggy day? Do I, you know, what, how do I want to play the game? Ease it up that hill. There we go. This thing is so capable. I mean, it's so capable, but it, it never feels overpowered. And that's, like, the biggest thing that it's, like, while you're driving it, you know that you could get it stuck. Like, you genuinely know you could get this thing stuck. But you also know that if you drive properly and you really, like, pay attention to your surroundings, there's a very good chance of it making it through whatever you pretty much throw it at. Unless you're talking about Rock Bouncer territory, this thing is going to do well pretty much everywhere. And that's why it's one of my most used scout vehicles slash map tour vehicles. Um, like, whenever I do map tour videos, if I know it's going to be a tricky, difficult map, I usually bring out this thing, along with some others, but this one's definitely one of the standby vehicles for me. I have to go a little bit further to the right. My left front tire was getting caught. Ooh. God, I wonder when it's going to get difficult again, because this is easy compared to what we've seen so far. Like, because they throw you into it right off the bat, and, like, when you get to stuff like this that just feels like a, uh-oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was so close to being a complete and utter rollover that, like, oh, that, that will make you, uh, that'll make you pucker a little bit. Let's see if we can get just a little bit further along. I wonder if... wonder if we can use high to make it up that hill. Problem is, there's that big dip right there. There we go. Come on! This is one place I could see high range being useful here. Ah, that sucks. There we go. Wow, I am really surprised it was able to actually get get itself into high right there. Because this is steep, and I, I feel like since there's so many rocks, I'm trying to use high to, like, to grab onto something. But eh, it actually doesn't look like it's going to be working. If I could just ease it up. Ease it up. Come on, pull. Pull, 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 pull. Easy, 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 easy. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, and again, that's like, that's like the, uh, the, 
the tricky stuff I talk about on this map. I mean, it genuinely is hard. Ease it through the trees. God, you need Mudrunner mod for this map. Like, can you imagine all the rock damage you'd be getting? Like, it's just, it's just wild how much rock damage you'd be getting. There's so many fallen trees, too. Like, I can imagine that this map also probably wouldn't run well on a, like, mid to lower NPC. Like, I feel like, you know, I feel like you'd probably want some proper gear before you really attempted to run this map. Because, man, there's so much stuff packed into it. Like, all these rocks, all these fallen trees, the forest itself is very dense. Uh, I, I could honestly see, you know, a lower spec PC possibly having performance issues out here. Easy does it. If we could just... Oh my god. I mean, it's been cool and all, but I want... To, oh god, what is what is grabbing onto the... Oh, okay. So I fall a tree limb. I was like, the front of the jeep is just randomly turning. Why? If I could get it a little bit further forward. Ease it up. There we go. Not too bad. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Pull. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And release. Trying to be consistent. That's another thing with being out here is like, if I seem like I'm not talking as much as I usually do... I'm trying to focus, actually, because, like, I don't want to get this thing stuck and stranded. Because we're a long way from any other vehicles. And the... What's recallable? Okay, Banks' Ford is recallable, but the thing with that is the fact that, like, it's not going to do much. Like, even if we bring it out here, it's not going to do much. And look where we are at this point compared to, like, how freaking huge, huge this map is. It's huge! It's absolutely huge. Oh god, long hill. I may want high for this. Oh come on. Oh come on, dude. Mm-mm. There. That should be enough. Uh nope. Go, 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 please, come on. There we go. Should be able to make short work of this hill. Ah, the rock got in the way. Really? Really? Oh, come on. All right, well, we're going to have to now back all the way down, or almost all the way down. Go. Oh god. Oh jeez. Okay, yeah. This is going to be this is going to be difficult because the front end pulls around so much. Especially when you put it in high, the front end starts to pull around and then it's like, yeah, there's not much more you could do about it. Like there's really not. Go. Easy. Mmm. Can't quite get it around that rock without it spinning. Trying to just ease it up this hill. And it's so, like... You know what? I'm gonna winch. I was like, you know what? I am not ashamed to pull the winch cable out. Alright, let's try this again. Nope. Ugh, come on. Nope! Oh my god, come on! There it goes. 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 Mm, it's... Nope, it's too slick. Yep, it's too slick. It... Well, it wants to. It wants to, like, really bad. It's just so slick that it can't quite bite in high. Yeah, even if you end up like slinging the jeep all over the road, it still doesn't quite get, doesn't quite bite. 
I want to get just a little bit further. Just a little bit further. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There. Perfect. Perfect winch point. God, there better be some sort of, like, epic reward at the top of this hill. Is there? Not really. <laughs> Not really. Just, like, more woods. I've never been to West Virginia, but I'll tell you something. I, 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 I suppose this resembles it. I've never been there, but I suppose this resembles it. I, I also suppose that people in the comments below could tell me whether or not this resembles off-roading in West Virginia. Oh my god. It just goes on and on and on. And, and honestly, just never, ever, ever lets up. It genuinely never, ever, ever lets up. And look how far, like, that's it. That's the only, like, that's our progress. Compared to this massive freaking map. It's ridiculous. But if you guys enjoyed this episode of Spin Tires Mudrunner, don't forget to slam that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to y'all later.